Hello everyone, welcome back to FX021. Uh, in this chapter, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, HDA for your asset and uh, then you can import your HDA in uh, Unreal and uh, uh, adjust the parameter in Unreal. So let's get started. So we will make uh, uh, Digital asset Houdini, uh, Houdini digital asset for my uh, sci-fi ball here and also the terrain. So yeah, and the particles uh, I think uh, we can uh, uh, use the lab too. They got the Niagara uh, Niagara node here, and you can just set your path where you want to export it, and select the frame range and just render that. So it's gonna be a JSON file, and uh, uh, that's uh, basically what you do for your particles. So uh, yeah, the particles are done with this node. And uh, for the seven ball here, so let me show you a small demo. So create a geo here. Pretend this is uh, our seven seven ship here, and. Uh, Let's copy some node here. Okay, I'm just copy some node uh, uh, here. Yes, and the uh, hide other object. So that's our. Let's say that's our ship, and. Uh, we want to create digital asset. So what you do here is uh, select all the node, shift C, and uh, then it's gonna be uh, inside a subnet. Uh, let's wait. Yeah, shift C, and you can see it's a subnet, and uh, you can name it like sci-fi ball. Yeah, who didn't uh, recalculate everything when you run in that does things and what you do here is right click create a digital asset and here you can name your uh, HDA and uh, and you can save to library where you can just save to the dollar job here you can you have a HDA folder you can save it there yeah I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, save it here. You see, I have the Sci-Fi Shift HDA and Terrain HDA here. Just save there, okay? I'm not gonna make it. And uh, once you have your HDA uh, like this, you can you can see I have these custom parameters on it. And uh, what you do is. Uh, go to the uh, type property and go to the parameter here and you can see here I have two folders and what uh, what's in here well when you uh, apply and accept here it will show here okay uh, for example uh, I will find an integer here maybe a float uh, a float value here and I will drag to my front uh, front frame here. And you can see here. You can name it like a, call it custom value or anything you want. And uh, CV. And here you can define a range for your float. So if you lock that, and uh, it's gonna be zero at the minimum. So you cannot go to negative values. And uh, if you don't lock it, it, you can't go beyond ten. Okay, here. So let's look at, so the range is going to be, uh, the float value is going to be between 0 and 10. And you apply, you can see we got our custom value here, and accept. So when you uh, drag your uh, parameter here, nothing will happen. Uh, because it's not linked to anything, okay? For example, if I change the random seed here, you can see here, right? It's uh, it's different. 
Yeah. But when you change the custom value here, it's it's not. Uh, let's rename it. If you want to re-edit the name or the value here, uh, right click uh, and uh, type property. Uh, find it. Uh, call it seed and SD. Apply, accept. And uh, in the ship here, we got some node called lot subdivision. Uh, if you change the seed here, let's see. You can see, yeah, it's controlling this. So if you right click and copy parameter here and go to here, paste a relative reference. Oh, what you can do is, uh, yeah, let's do that. Paste relative reference here. You can see now these are linked when you uh, drag it's or you drag it's gonna be linked together and you can also create let's say type property they got a separator here just for organization if you drag your separator here apply you can see there is a line here if you want another another tab you can Go to the folder here, uh, drag, apply. You can see it's a folder name here, so it's another tab. And uh, in, when you save your uh, HDA and input in Unreal, all these param parameters will be inside Unreal as well. So yeah, that's how you create your HDA. And also, uh, the terrain here, it's the same thing. You just select select all the node here and uh, shift C to make your HDA and select the, where you want to save. And just find something that you might want to control. So you might want to control the rock where, where they scatter so you can Go to the height field scatter here. You can see I have linked these values. So the total point count for the rock one and the range for it. And also for rock two, I have the range, maybe the rotation uh, and random, randomize off and uh, this global seed here. Uh, so that's my control for my both uh, terrain and uh, my sunfire sh ship. Uh, once you got all of that uh, in your folder uh, uh, you should have a portal uh, .hbjson file uh, which is from here it's the portal hbjson file and uh, you should have uh, hda you should have your sci-fi ship hda and terrain hda and once you have uh, three of them, then it's good to input them in Unreal. So yeah, see you in next chapter.